Consumption is something everyone does every day of their lives. Hi, I'm Thomas and I'm always consuming in one way or another throughout my day. Firstly, what is consumption? Well, consumption is defined by Littler as the general using up of an object, good or service, regardless of what kind of economic or ideological context the consumption is happening in. In my daily life, I engage in consumerism from the moment I wake up to the moment I fall asleep. Consumerism being the logic of consuming within a particular type of social and political system, consumer capitalism, according to Littler. Consumerism can be influenced by a multitude of factors that lead every person to consume in a different way. Some people advocate for anti-consumption, meaning advocating for consuming less whatever the economic system is. But in the case of my life, I do not do that. Let's do a deep dive into my day and just how I consume. When I first wake up every day, I'll check my phone or go on Instagram and play a video game. In doing this, I'm consuming online media through Instagram and video game content through the apps I play. Often when I do this, I can negatively impact my mental health by taking up large amounts of my time, loss of control and limiting intake and emergence of a negative emotional state, as Stefano Pisani would say. This is a result of living in a binge consuming culture, and as culture defines is also defined by consumerism, it has become normalised within my daily life. Once I've gotten out of bed, I will have an instant coffee every day without fail. I'm consuming a product, in this case coffee, every day through a routine and a caffeine addiction developed through said routine. As long-term relationships that cement customer loyalty, this coffee, which is something I've had for a long time, is a product I'm loyal to. This has also created a psychopathological binge in me for coffee. By consuming coffee every day and being addicted to consumption of coffee like a drug, a persistent habit that does not take into account the consequences of these actions, this can be the consumption of anything that often results in the consumption consume, said by Safani. Over a long period, I now feel like I can't have a good day without my morning coffee. Sometimes I may even eat in the morning by having fruit or oatmeal bought from my local supermarket, in doing so consuming food items bought from local stores. The food and fruit I eat are culturally specific to both Australia and my family as consumption is culturally specific and articulated within or in relation to specific meaningful ways of life. Once I have eaten, I'll often shower using a variety of soaps, hair care and skincare products that I've found work for my skin and body. To me, these various products are needs that help keep up my appearance. Basic needs take on different cultural forms in different societies. If I have university that day, I'll get dressed and catch the bus, a public transportation service provided by the government. By dressing nicely, I'm able to showcase my taste to other students at the university, establishing an air of style around me. If I dress nicely by wearing a Gucci necklace that has cultural values placed upon it, cultural value being the meaning attached to an object by society, it places me in a higher social position on campus that day. Taste establishes our social position and lets others know what position we are in. In doing this, it becomes both a structuring and structured device within the university and sorts students into stylistic classes. An example would be white collar business students being classed differently to art students like me due to our different taste in clothing. On the bus, I'll consume music by listening to it on my headphones. The music I consume is individually meaningful to me because of the way it makes me feel or the memories I have associated with it. We must be able to interpret sensations, experiences and situations and we must be able to make sense as well as transform various objects, actions and resources in relation to these things. By taking the bus, I'm participating in creating the culturally shared meaning of buses being a method for Perth people's travels. We fully formulate our needs in relation to available resources, we draw on languages, values, rituals and habits and so on that are social in nature even when we individually contest slash reject slash interpret them. As many people don't drive, we'll catch the bus, creating a shared belief around the system that it will run and that it is reliable. While I'm at university, I might buy food and another coffee from a campus cafe that I frequent or from a vending machine that always stocks Kit Kats. While I've already woken up and don't need another coffee, I may still end up getting one just for the meaning that it will make me more awake. Once the satisfaction of basic needs has been materially secured, the meaningful or cultural aspect of consumption comes to predominate, and people become more concerned with the meanings of goods than their functional use to meet a basic or real need. Similarly, on the bus ride home, I'll listen to more music and once home, consume more food products for dinner. After dinner, I'll often relax by reading manga online or watching anime through one of the multiple streaming services that I have access to. In Japan, otaku is a term used to designate certain consumers of popular culture. As someone who consumes anime and manga, I can be termed an otaku. However, because I indulge in consumption appropriate for my gender identity, I am then not otaku, but those who enjoy inappropriate consumption are. This can be found to originate from heteronormative ideals, which shape many of the ways we consume. 
In a sense, the basis of masculinity rule, which views consumption as gendered, is understandable in the larger context that activities in general are divided into male and female spheres. However, in recent years, it has become more acceptable to like all types of manga and anime content without being categorised into an insulting category. When I go to sleep, I'll play videos from YouTube in the background consuming more online content. Because these cultural normals are changing, I can watch anime or read manga until I fall asleep without it being deemed strange. Other days when I have work, I will either bus or catch a ride using a ride sharing app to get to my place of work. When I catch a ride share app ride, I'm consuming a service provided to me. Sometimes when I bus into the city to get to my work, I'll walk past many shop fronts. Occasionally, I'll see an item that piques my interest and go inside the store to browse further and maybe buy. Often the shops I shop at are the ones I've previously bought from and know the quality is good. As a customer, this makes me both a browser, someone who has no exact idea what they want but goes browsing as a window shopper, and a brand loyalist who is loyal to their favourite brand or brands and will normally buy from those. Due to the impulsive nature of these rash purchases on my way to work, I can also be considered an impulse buyer who buys on impulse with an in-the-moment decision. Shopping is something I enjoy doing as recreation and I'm always looking for new fashionable clothes to buy. Shopping involves both utility and recreation, gendered but not always, dependent on the shopper mindset as much as the environment. As such, when I shop, I like to have a fun experience and enjoy it. Shopping and experience, both intentionally and unintentional, browsing the process and the leisure. At work, once I'm on break, I'll always go to the cafe across the road and for a coffee and some food, further engaging in consumption. Then, after work is finished, I'll once again either bus or Uber home, ending my day. In my day, I experience consumption at almost every stage. From the moment I wake up and enjoy a coffee as a form of binge consumption and addiction, to the consumption and consumerism I engage in for the rest of the day. By simply undergoing my daily activities like listening to music or buying food, I'm always consuming. Being a browsing shopper often results in me spending money compulsively on a brand I like if I'm travelling past their shop. Then, once I'm home, I'll enjoy my hobbies, and there is consumption-related terminology like otaku that applies to me simply for enjoying a medium, with some terms being insulting. While I may consume throughout my day, the study of consumption lets me look at my consumption habits in retrospect. While I may consume a lot, I'm happy with the amount I consume in my life to maintain my happiness and peace. Thank you so much for watching this day in the life of my consumption, and I hope you have a lovely day. Bye!